So what's going on toxic gamers and Call of Duty refugees? Let's see what everybody is mad about. We gotta talk about what the hell just went down. What the hell just went down in the community. We're gonna talk about it because today we got some hit videos that we're gonna catch up on. We got some Call of Duty hit videos that we're gonna catch up. Thank you all for liking and subscribing. Let's go for 500 likes on the video and let's see what the homie is mad about today, man. Let's see what everybody's mad about. Uh, time. It's time, guys for you to take your anti-delulu pills take your anti-delulu pills and uh here we go boys roll a lot i want to get off my chest yet again so okay. i have uninstalled the dog shit black ops 6 multiplayer i would rather stick the tiny straw that comes with a can of wd-40 up my urethra than play <laughs> that's a good one <laughs> then oh. play black ops 6 multiplayer okay. uh, and that's true that's on the spot off the cuff that made me laugh uh, tomorrow he's gonna be playing black ops 6 multiplayer um, anyway, yeah, that, that's the truth, though. It's actually insane, the quality difference between zombies, like Black Ops 6 zombies and Black Ops 6 multiplayer, and even mm. Warzone. Everything is so radically different in quality. I, I, I just, yeah, it's like yeah, a completely yeah. different team is making each mode. Maybe that's the case. I, I don't know how things work there. Uh, yeah, that, that is the case. We got, like, different teams working on it. That, that's true, though. And it's wild to see, like, people, uh... Uh, yeah, right? Let, let me know if you like zombies this year. Let me know if you don't like it. I, if I feel like that zombies is growing on a lot of people, and that's good to hear. That's good to hear. It's nowhere near as good as something like Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 3 zombies, but it's actually the best version that we got in the last five years, if that, that makes sense. And I'm seeing people actually praise it in that way, so it, it's good to see. So, finally, I mean, damn, like, it feels like I clicked on a fake Blame Truth video. He's always like that, right? He's positive in the beginning, and then slowly but surely he gets down to the negative stuff, and yeah, man that's why that's why we kind of love them man. Like, 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 like. all right roll it four years four thousand devs terminus though is a fantastic map it really is I'm, I'm very impressed with this i wasn't a big fan of liberty falls but this one's good and um i'll cover more of this and talk about the gameplay actually as the video progresses i don't want to glaze these guys too much though did he say gay play gay play did he say gay play oh no did he but did he say that what the hell? If i'm ever glazing call of duty too much rest assured bobby kodak and the ghost of jeffrey epstein have me tied up in a basement somewhere with a gun to my head they, they both have guns a real gun and a ghost gun Anyway, um, I just want to talk about... Uh, 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 what, what? Ghost gun? Do you mean, like, the, the friendly BB scene bro? Like, is that what you're trying to say? Or a friendly... <laughs> Yeah, bro, like, what, what do you mean by that ghost gun? Nero Senma once said that he loves it when, you know, it jumps out. He did say that, I'm quoting him, okay? He said that the other day, and I was like, bro, why? Why do you want skins that jump out? Why, man? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? That's the word, right? If you, if you speak Spanish, guys, teach me some Spanish words, man. Teach me some bad words in uh, Spanish, right? Bro. Like, I wanna, like, I know puta madre, chinga tu madre, poncho madre. Like, I know a couple of words. Some of them I know what, what it means, others not so much but who cares right like let me know let me know some bad words in spanish in the chat okay lying to us though they have blatantly lied to us and uh -huh. i just need to cover this today because I, I i cannot understand this community what happened to you guys what happened to your critical thinking skills why are you so gullible why are you so innocent why do you trust this like trillion dollar company that's continually lied to you allow me to explain it yet again and let it fall on deaf ears and let people get mad at me because we're still kind of in the honeymoon phase although not really i think people are finally snapping out of it i say finally the game hasn't even been out let it all out brother let it all out not for a month yet but this is a honeymoon phase that i really wanted to end in like a, a week you know like Okay, okay, let me go with the full timeline here. This is, just wrap your head around this shit, okay? At okay. first, they say they're not bringing in old XP tokens because mm. I, I, I could be wrong here. I think they said, I couldn't find any information on this. I think they said it, it was not possible to do that. Yay. Or maybe they said they didn't want to do that because this is a new game with a new form of progression or whatever. I, I don't whatever. really know, but okay, fine. That's shitty, but okay, fine. But then here's the thing. With season one, they integrate Black Ops 6 with Warzone and all those tokens work in Warzone. So by mistake, they started working in Black Ops 6. And people were praising Treyarch for this, and then Treyarch saw this and were like, oh, we weren't supposed to do that. Let's take those back. Oh, man. W bro. That, that's crazy, right? That double XP works, and the community's like, oh, thank you, Ray, thank you, thank you, Treyarch, thank you, Treyarch. Oh, my God, double XP finally works. Now, what is going on in the community, man? So double XP apparently worked and people tanked them and then they removed double XP is what I'm hearing and now it's finally working again so everybody's like thank you Treyarch yeah okay well yeah it's working so you gotta be like thank you you know that's nice that's nice to say that that's fair that's pretty positive but it's wild to see 
a, a billion dollar company, no, a trillion with a T, T, like T for Tommy, uh, like T for Tommy, not talking about like a dog or anything like that, not talking about, uh, where, where's the dog, yeah, not talking about my Tommy, the dog here that you guys are seeing on your screen right now, but, but yeah, like trillion, T for Tommy, T for trillion, all right? Bruh. It's a trillion dollar company. What is wrong with these suckers? Seventy dollars, seventy dollars, seventy dollars, seventy dollars for Call of Duty Black Ops Six BBC Edition, <laughs> and double XP don't work. And when it works, everybody's like on their knees, right? Everybody's uh, everybody's on their knees, like like this. No Diddy, I'm going on my knees here. No Diddy. Everybody's like, thank you, thank you. What what is going on, man? What is going on? Back. But in doing that, not only did they take away the old tokens, they took away the new tokens that were in the new battle pass. Yeah. Blows my fucking mind. Blows my mind, man. I, I, I just don't get it. I do not get okay. it. It's like if you're having too much fun, they, they take it away. Well, yeah, people were yeah, very yeah. pissed at this, obviously, and they started raising hell about it, and today, mm. Treyarch addressed it. Mm. Now, <laughs> before we even get... Yeah, and, and for zombies, like, two of the biggest criticisms I have, and I'm seeing, like, uh, people talk about it, too. Like, the main one is that they need to lessen the spam of zombie bosses in zombies. <laughs> Like the video, like the video if you agree. It, it's like, it's not, it doesn't add to the challenge, it just annoys that people want to play zombies, have fun, right? You, you feel what I'm saying? Even for the multiplayer, why add that extra cheese in it, right? Like, yeah, 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 you feel what I'm saying? So yeah, remove the, uh, no, don't remove the zombie bosses, but like, lessen the spam. It's like, every round, every round, something gotta spawn in, like, damn, let a brother chill, man. Let a brother be tranquilo for a little bit, man. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, that, that thing, I'm seeing a lot of people actually agree on that. Let me know if you agree on that too or not. Uh, like the video if you do agree. But but I'm seeing a lot of people talk about that too. Secondly, we need zombies to feel a little bit more like zombies. To be fair though, this time, zombies is growing on a lot of people. And I would say zombies is alright, even for me. It's not, guys, listen. It's not gonna be as good as Black Ops 3 zombies. I refuse to believe that. I, I don't think that would happen unless Warzone completely flops, which I don't think it's gonna happen. Right now, a lot of people are mad with Warzone as well. I'm hearing a lot of people actually complain about it. Yeah, uh, but until Warzone is completely dead, which I don't think it will happen, right? It will, it will require a lot for that to happen. Maybe in the next few years, it's gonna slow down. I, I guess that it's gonna slow down players-wise, but it's not gonna die, right? We're talking Call of Duty and it's free to play. Uh, we don't even have any big FPS game out either. Battlefield can be the competitor. Battlefield has always been the competitor, but guys, let's be real, man. Like, when was the last time Battlefield oversold Call of Duty? Even when Infinity Warfare came out, these suckers, those suckers couldn't even beat Activision. And listen, I'm a fan of Battlefield. I love both of these franchises, so it's not even like, hey, Battlefield's better than Call of Duty or Call of Duty's better than Battlefield. I love both of them. And in some aspects, Battlefield back in the days used to always be better than Call of Duty quality wise but subjectively suckers still loved call of duty gameplay i love both because call of duty was like the mcdonald's right and, and battlefield was more like a burrito right you had like a lot of content packed into that game and call of duty was just like the mcdonald's version right call of duty has always been like the mcdonald's version version fa uh, fast food restaurant kind of thing right which is all right which is all right sometimes you want to play call of duty other times you want to play battlefield other times you want to play story games uh, to be fair though i did enjoy my time a lot with Call of Duty back in the days, especially Modern Warfare 3, the original, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, oh, I love my time, Battlefield 3, Bad Company 2, Battlefield 4, not that much, because when it first came out, the game was broken, those of you that bought Battlefield 1, day, uh, Battlefield 4, day 1, you know what I'm talking about, but right now, Battlefield 4, or I should say a year, two years after the game came out, they fixed it, so, uh, yeah, now it's in a good spot, Battlefield 1 was also amazing too, but after that, Battlefield kind of went downhill. Call of Duty, I guess it, go it goes downhill every year. But this year, I, I got to agree, man. It's uh, better than Concord and this one, man. Get into this. I just want to say, this moment right here, and I I'm glad I had this recorded, this moment right here. I, I personally have been enjoying the game, though. For what it is, guys. For what it is, I I've been enjoying the game. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But I understand not everybody's uh, going to enjoy it. And that's fine, though. That's fine. Here where I swam out of the lab for the first time. This is the first time doing this. Haven't been playing much zombies. Uh, this is my first real go at Terminus here. Okay. But after swimming out of the lab and, and seeing the shipwreck in the distance, I'm not kidding you guys. This is the first time since I'd say 2015's Black Ops 3 that I have just said, wow. Wow. This is impressive. The visuals, the mood, the setting. The, there's just, I, I don't know. Again, the quality, difference. It, it's night and day. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's night and day. But again, I don't want to praise Treyarch too much here. I want to cover what mm. they did wrong because they yeah, fucking lied. Yeah, I don't know. 
<laughs> I want to get down to that heat. I want to get down to that toxic gamers, toxic gamers. And they're lying to us again. Toxic Let me just gamers. get into what I'm talking about here. Okay. Treyarch said this today. With the start of season one, a UI bug allowed players to activate legacy XP tokens in Black Ops 6. Unfortunately, it also introduced some potential risk to game stability, uh -huh. which is why it was patched yesterday. Game stability. Let's come back to that. We realize how much players appreciate being able to redeem legacy XP tokens in both BO6 and Warzone, so we are currently testing a way to implement this change correctly in a future update, okay? This allows us to ensure stability is maintained before we reintroduce this feature. What's stability? What, what, I, I'm, not, I'm not getting what you're talking about. Stability with mm. an XP token, huh? In the interim, players can activate any legacy Bruh. XP tokens in Warzone. Any tokens applied in Warzone will also apply to Black Ops 6, should oh, you wow. switch titles or modes. So great, oh, wow. I have to download this 200 gigabyte fucking Albatross! Boot it up! <laughs> Update requires restart, most likely. <laughs> Activate my tokens. Close out of the game. Restart Black Ops 6. Update requires restart. Restart Black Ops 6 again. And then finally, I can use my token. Keep in mind, by the way, that the token time counts down in real time, not match hmm. time. So you're wasting probably- Yeah, that's wild. That is wild. That, that thing gotta go. I mean, these things are having issues with double XP. How pathetic is that, though? Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Like, even though I'm, in, I'm enjoying my time playing the game, but like, that's, that's pathetic, right? Because- yeah, and people are thanking them for fixing, and then and then they mess it up again. Like, what are we what are we talking about here, guys? Double XP? That's like bare minimum, bro. That's like the the the, the most minuscule thing ever. But I, I I understand it's like a lot to do with the coding, and they're fucking it up. But uh, I'm assuming that they are because of the the fact that everything is like interconnected. Warzone, the Call of Duty app, right? The Call of Duty HQ. Man, that thing gotta go though. That thing gotta go because for a lot of people, it's kind of confusing. People people download so much crap that they don't even play, and at the end, it's like 500 gigs. Uh, yeah, the last time I was checking, I only had Warzone install, Black Ops Cold War install, Black Ops Six install, and guess what? 300 plus gigs. <laughs> Holy crap! What the hell? And, and if I install Modern Warfare 2, the the game that introduced the BBC Online and all that, friendly, friendly BBC Online, or friendly. <laughs> You, you, you know what I mean, right? So if you do that, 400 gigs, easy. What is wrong with these suckers, man? What's going on, man? Well, you're good. Anywhere from two to five to maybe even 10 minutes, depending on the update time to do this. Anyway, we look forward to sharing more about this change next week. Thank you oh, for right? your patience. Oh, wow. 17K likes by the time I took a picture of this. I'm sure it's well over 20K likes now. The, the Call of Duty community is just eating this up. All the replies are just saying thank uh, you. I cannot, brother, get two likes, guys. Treyarch, all of this mess. And I say this is complete and <clears throat> utter bullshit. Like, just as an example, I I'm glad that there are people out there questioning this. Like, I, I want to I come yeah. with Milo, yeah, bringing yeah, yeah. this up right underneath the post. Huge w. Huge w, but how the hell do XP tokens create a potential risk to game stability? This feels like a totally unnecessary lie, but maybe I just don't understand some hidden thing on the back end or something. Anyone got any ideas? Seriously, can anyone come up with a theory for how game stability could possibly be a And he bookmarked the post. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Blame Truth was like, yo, finally, we got some news here. <laughs> gotta make a video, gotta make a video, gotta make a video. But uh, honestly, though, jokes aside, it, it is it is some wild stuff. No Diddy, no cap. It's some Delulu stuff, as the kids are now. I, I recently learned the word Delulu. I mean, it's uh, delusional, right? It's like short for del delusional. Delulu is short for delusional. Bruh. Man, like, <laughs> what are we doing here? I guess, guys, I guess... We gotta, it's time for us to take the anti-Delulu pills, man. they be impacted by a 2x speed token being active when we literally had a 2x speed weekend like a week ago. Looks like we the main go. theory we is go. game development we is hard and games have weird dependencies, so literally anything unintentional might cause instability in an unexpected area, mm. which is fair enough. I feel like this could be communicated a bit better, but I'm happy regardless. Oh, Milo, sweet, innocent Milo. I wish I could be as optimistic as you and just believe that. I, I mean, to be honest, though, like, the reason he's being semi or optimistic here he knows it you know it i know it we all know it right it's it's good to talk positively i i, I you know what i'm not criticizing that but just an observation no criticism here guys just an observation here um it's good i feel like that even i would be talking like this usually i talk like this in real life too hey good stuff but <laughs> you know but you wanna you wanna yeah man like opinions are cool though like um because it adds to discussion and uh it, it, that that's the only way you improve right you want to be honest though you want to be honest but there's a way to be honest and rude uh personally i would be uh positive but honest honest and uh you you want to approach it in real life for example right like you you are uh working on something and you want honest feedback 
Yeah, you're not gonna be like, hey, you suck, this and that. Well, you're providing no criticism. You wanna provide, you wanna provide feedback, constructive fe feedback in a real way. You wanna be truthful, but at the same time, a little, I guess, chill. So that's what he's doing. Doesn't work. Doesn't work all the times, but uh, the reason he's being a little positive here is because uh, he he wanna be invited out. You know what I mean, right? There's no other way around. Because uh, if he says straight away he's gonna be banned he's gonna be blacklisted and indeed like for a while he wasn't being invited out by call of duty right yeah so he got they stopped inviting him because mr waffle waffles also started being i wouldn't say negative i i would say he started becoming a lot more realistic and a lot more like uh real in his videos and they didn't like that and they stopped inviting him and now he's like going back to uh, he's still being real but uh, he's trying to be a little bit more uh, optimistic which I absolutely got no issues with that's awesome uh, if, if, if anybody want to be positive about it that's cool though that's cool though that instead I'm just gonna cover what I said in response to this on Twitter the Treyarch tweet I mean I don't believe this excuse for a second, and I also don't believe you are going to re-implement them. You literally took current Battle Pass tokens away. Stuff people paid for. Yeah. Absolute incompetence. <laughs> the truth? You accidentally brought them forward after saying that it couldn't be done, a lie. So why would I believe this poses a risk to game stability when you release Warzone in the state it's in at minus 100 FPS? Now, here's the thing. This is what I like here, right? If, if, if this is true, I, I don't know if this is true or not. It probably is. It probably is. Now, if Blame Truth was being a little bit like, ah, a little bit more positive like the homie mr waffle waffles then it wouldn't work it would not work and see like the fact that he's being blunt with it he's he's blacklisted he has been blacklisted and i don't think he cares about it yeah like even i don't care about it for example i said it in one of my recent video back in modern warfare 19 i got invited out why because i was genuinely excited about the game and i'll say this right like the leaks that were coming out about modern warfare 19 at the time were really really solid and they were really good like a lot of people were shaking i was like oh my god oh my god and i was covering all the leaks and i was super excited about it and i was genuinely excited about it so therefore they invited me out now they could have kept inviting me out had it been I was positive, but here's the thing though. Here's the catch when Modern Warfare 19 came out We heard about skill-based management. We had so much like camping stuff bad news bad news and I covered it all <laughs> Not because I wanted to cover. I mean, I wish there was good news at the time too, but there was not so therefore I was like talking about everything that was happening just as is like I was covering before the leaks right the leaks were good So I was covering them and then the game came out news was bad So I was just simply covering the news they didn't like that and they stopped inviting me out Did I care about it? Mm, nah, absolutely not. I, I don't give a crap about it. If they want to invite me cool If they don't I'm cool with it too, right? But but it goes to show you right like uh you really want to be sucking their BBC dry. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I mean, yeah, I'm exaggerating. I'm joking around for sure for the video for the entertainment value here. And listen, I'm brown. I got a BBC myself. I got a BBC as well. Bruh. But but like, understand the meaning. Understand the subtext here, right? You really want to be sucking their D for you to be in, to keep getting that invitation, right? Do you really want to do that? I, I, that's not me though. That's a lot of YouTubers. And if you want to do it, I got no issues, man. I, I understand. Really, bro, I understand. You want to do you, 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 right? Respect. Respect. It's your dreams. Uh, it's one of your dreams to be constantly being invited uh, be invited out by Activision. No judgment here. No criticism, man. Never apologize for your dreams, guys. Absolutely, right? So you love that. You love that. You love that, right? But for me, nah, man. I cannot do that. So I started, like, calling out the skill base management and bullshit. All that bull squash and blacklist. I'm probably... I don't know if I am blacklisted. I don't know. But let's be real. Who cares if I am or not? Blame truth? He... <laughs> he 110% is. But I, I feel like that you cannot say what he's saying while being all like lovey dubby lovey dubby right like hey guys uh, good job good job but i don't believe this excuses for a second you cannot do that right it's either or you cannot mix the two it's not me making that up by the way people have done tests the frame rate has been butchered no stability mm. whatsoever season one has released with more bugs than fixes and does so every season pretty much yeah every season they break the game in some they capacity game, yeah. why are they suddenly concerned about stability now you don't care about stability. You fucked up and are trying to save face, and now you're waiting around so your fan base hopefully forgets. Prove me wrong. They've done nothing, by the way. I, I want to reiterate this. They have done nothing to fix this. They can disable it in record time. But actually getting a fix for the next update? I, I mean, they're saying they're going to do it, but I don't trust these motherfuckers. Why would I?
Let, let, me, let me give you an example. Again, let me give you an example. This is what they said before the game came out. Black Ops 6 will have classic three-lane multiplayer maps. It classic three-lane uh, multiplayer maps. I, I feel like it does have three lanes, but classic, that's debatable. Most of the maps in this game, and I've kind of realized this by now, most of the maps no in this game are one lane. And I'm not kidding with that. Most of the fucking maps in Black Ops 6 are one lane maps. There are no more than two lanes. Like, pretty much ever. Like, take Derelict, for example. That is a one lane map with different, like, figure eights connecting everything. You cannot make a map one lane and then put just, like, a few train cars in, maybe a side little cave thing, and call that a three lane map. It doesn't work that way. It simply does not. This is not standoff. This is not raid where every single map is very clearly defined by the lanes. I would argue- I, I feel- I mean, I, 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 Maybe one or two map is like one lane, but generally it's like three lanes though. But classic, that one is debatable because the only classic map in the game is Nuketone. That's it. <laughs> that, that's it, man. That's it. Um, and, and there's one of that beta map, which I don't remember the name of, uh, which I like. There are like two, three maps that are all right, that are good. Nuketown, of course, but that's like a 14 year old map. Not saying that they should not put it, I mean, it's Black Ops, so they gotta put it in, it's like a staple of the franchise, just like how Prestige normal minimap is, I mean, it's wild that we're even talking about that, right, because they remove it, then they bring it back, and they're like, uh, look guys, look guys, we got new features, new feature, wow, pre-order now, I mean, I mean, like, damn, you know what I mean, right, can a brother get, like, good new maps, solid maps, yeah, multiplayer maps are, uh, big yikes, zombies need less, uh, boss, zombie boss spam, and more zombies uh, feel a lot more than current currently, uh, a lot more than what currently is, uh, or how it is, right? And multiplayer maps need to be better. And after that, uh, other than that, the game is very much uh, all right. I want to know your thoughts. Uh, if you think it's a trash game, let me know in the comments. I guess Black Ops Seven will save us, Bruh. guys. Black <laughs> next year, Black Ops Two Remaster, Black Ops Seven will save us. But recently, we had the Nick Marks drama, Doctor Disrespect drama, we had Swag drama, Tim the Tatman drama. Check out this video on the screen, and I will see you right there. Insane story, guys.